Hey y'all, it's Sherry and Jonah. We thought we would show you how to make a little fun treat in our new round dome silicone mold. This is so fun. So what we've done so far is we melted 600 grams of good Ghirardelli chocolate. We're just gonna pour it into this silicone mold. Isn't that good? What's your favorite kind of chocolate, Jonah? Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. That's the best, isn't it? I think we think so. So I'm just pouring that in here. And you know what I like to do with my chocolate whenever I'm making chocolate is add a little cold brew. Because what it does is it just intensifies the flavor of the chocolate. It doesn't necessarily make it taste like coffee. So if you don't love coffee, not a big deal, but it, it really intensifies the flavor of the chocolate. So it makes the chocolate taste really good. So add a little tablespoon of cold brew right here into this chocolate after it was melted. So you melted it in the micro pitcher. All right. Then I'm just gonna pull it up the side. Whoops. <laughs> no biggie. Pull that up the side. So are you loving the cold brew? Who loves cold brew? We love it here. Cold brew is a system of brewing coffee. You don't that doesn't mean you have to serve it cold. Like we heat our cold brew if we want hot coffee in the morning. Or you can just eat it cold or drink it cold. <laughs> Do you eat your coffee? <laughs> I usually drink it whole because it's a hundred degrees here. It is. <laughs> and it's almost the end of summer. Yeah. It's still a hundred degrees in Texas. So having cold coffee in the afternoon is kind of a nice treat. But you can totally heat it and serve it hot. It's that it's brewed cold. So when it's brewed cold, that takes a lot of the acid out of it instead of it being brewed hot. So it's sweeter, less acidic. So sometimes people with those sensitive tummies to coffee, they don't have to worry because it doesn't hurt their tummies. I have a friend who told me that she can drink it. Normally can't drink coffee. Or doesn't or people who don't like it because it's bitter may actually like the cold brew. And Tarani partnered with Tupperware, Tarani Syrups, to um, give us a discount when we, our cold brew first came out. So they have tons of great syrups. Okay, look how pretty that is. Look at all the, the chocolates all melty in there. So this is covered. So Jonah, do you want to start making the middle? And what I'm gonna do is put this in the freezer just to set up. So Jonah is gonna make us some whipped cream with our little whip attachment to our Power Chef. Now, we can either freeze it in our freezer mate, which I love, or we can put it in our lasagna pan lid cover. So, see it fits right in there perfectly. The nice thing about this lasagna pan cover is that you can cook it in the oven or in the microwave. Um, we're just gonna freeze in it. So I'm just gonna pop it in the freezer while you're making the middle part. Long at all, too. Oh, yeah, a little bit more. Make it a little stiffer because when we add, we're going to add Nutella to it just to get it too much. You can either do lots of chocolate or Nutella, but then the Nutella is kind of already melted. It's not like a hard chocolate. Oh, um, I just thought it would. It, um, we did a recipe there you go. Ooh, there at our Fall Fest and it That's inspired funny. me to try this. So here we go. We'll add this right in there. That's super fully. You want to hold that up a sec? And I'll put the Nutella in there. Like, there we go. You could just use the whisk if you the salt. There. Right, I'm putting, oh, you're gonna put that back in there and mix it up some more. Okay. We got Nutella in here now. Good stuff, so I have a half a cup. I have two, 200 milliliters. It's about two cups of um, cream. And I put three tablespoons of sugar, powdered sugar. So not a ton, just because this is sweet too. All right, sweet pie, you wanna mix that up? Let's see how that does for us. Terrible. Terrible. Oh. Ugh, this is so Y'all love our new red. I love the new red. It's so in our, <laughs> in our power chef. It is definitely an in our. I think Tupperware needs to make the lid bigger so it can just actually turn and tighten on like the lid. Just hold like that. There you go. Give it a spin. There. Yeah, 
the lid doesn't, it's not, the um, top doesn't seal down tight like the other. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's see. Yep, look. <gasps> Chocolate. Chocolate whipped <laughs> cream. <laughs> Chocolate whipped cream. It's a mousse. We made like a mousse filling. So then I'm just going to fold it in a little bit because we've still got vanilla at it's the good. bottom. All right, and then how about if you make the cookie base for us now too? Mm -hmm. It'll be the base Here. right now. We'll put it on the top, so when we flip it, it'll be the base. So what have we got in there? Um, graham crackers. Chocolate. Because what do we say? What's our motto? More chocolate. What makes all desserts and <laughs> chocolate things better? More chocolate. <laughs> more chocolate. Yes. So Jonah's putting more chocolate. So he's just um, crushing up some. <laughs> we have all stuff. We have doggies. Baking. Stuff on our toe. Yep. Nice. All right. Yeah, that was easy. He just needs some chocolate graham crackers. And then you're going to want to leave that in there because we got some melted butter. There's some stuck on the top from earlier. Yep. We put some melted butter in there and then mix it back up. Maybe like, that's about a half a tablespoon. Hello, Henry. I have a dog on my feet. He hasn't left me alone today. He's missing his sister. Yep, just pour that in there. And then you can mix that up real good. Nice. So easy. I love the way it just mixes up super easy. Like that, you know, the big power chef, I can make a graham cracker crust for a bigger one. Um, this one. Move it. <laughs> My camera people are telling me to move the props. <laughs> You literally couldn't see anything Jonah was doing. Oh, we couldn't see what Jonah was doing. <laughs> okay, let me see. Did we have enough melted butter? Yeah. So we can just put that in. Yeah, that'll be able to smash into the top. Cool. All right, so we're ready to put it all together, aren't we? Let me see if those, if this set up, it may not have yet. It wasn't in here very long. But, oh, it did, look. It set up pretty good. All but the middle. The sides are set up, and we're gonna put the whole thing in longer anyway. So, I wonder if it, would set, if it sets up faster in here, because I did it earlier with just the mm -hmm. freezer mate. Yeah, it's gonna go longer in the freezer. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the middle in and then you can finish the top off with those cookies. So let's just put this in there, this chocolate hazelnut mousse spread. But you know, you can fill this with whatever you want. Wait, jump, no, wait, wait, whoops. Let's wait till I get all the mousse in there. Um, you can fill it with whatever you like. If you like, um, like a marshmallow filling, or a ganache filling. Wouldn't this be good with ganache? Oh More gosh. chocolate chips? Yeah. yeah, chocolate chips. I mean, More ganache chocolate. would make this like super decadent. It would be like a giant truffle, wouldn't it? Y'all like truffles? Like, that would be great this time of year. Could probably do like an Oreo or even like a brownie truffle or a chocolate chip cookie dough truffle. What else could we do in the middle? Maybe like um, some berries, some fruit, like strawberries and a strawberry compote or raspberries, something like that. What else? A white chocolate mousse? You could put like white chocolate and, and, and drizzle it over the chocolate Ooh, that would shell. Be and then you add like whipped cream yeah. and berries in it. Mmm, that one sounds really good. Okay, that one we might have to make next. <laughs> what if you designed it in marble using white whipped cream mm. with swirls of chocolate whipped cream? Mmm. Lots of ideas. It's not hard to come up with some good ideas. We just made this up. It just sounded like this would be good. I was kind of inspired by a recipe we just made Those this week at our Record Breaker work workshop. And there. Okay, now you can top it. I gave y'all this one. I did kind of messy. So while you're topping it, I'll pull out the other one. Okay, yeah, and just kind of put them on there and smash them down. So through the magic of TV, <laughs> we have it already done. So. It makes some room. Y'all can see this. Pull all our ingredients over to the side. So I did freeze this one in our freezer mate. I think I'll flip it onto the seal. I love these new little freezer mates. Just so we can see them. <clears throat> okay, I, I can't hear you whisper. You need to talk out loud. What did you say? Hashtag TV logic is terrible. TV logic is terrible? Yes. Because I'm like, through the magic of TV, it's already done? Yep. Okay, so <laughs> they just the way it. to get these out is really you just literally peel the silicone away from the mold. 
So you can dump it upside down if you want to make it a little easier. So we'll do that. I'm gonna press the seal flat to mold, flip it. Then I'm just gonna peel the mold away from the chocolate, look. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Ah, oh, wouldn't you be proud to serve that at any dinner party at your house for the holidays or any time of year? Y'all, look at that. And that did not take long. Like, that did not take any culinary skills to be able to do that, did it? Imagine if we marbled in some white chocolate. Ooh, yeah. I just didn't have any. That would have been pretty. See, we've got some great ideas. We're going to have to do some more of these, aren't we? White chocolate and raspberry or lemon would be so pretty. There, so we've got one right set up. See, and it just flipped inside out. You can see how easy that is going to be to clean up. Probably even easier flipped inside out like that if we leave it. And I don't spray these with anything. That actually voids the warranty if we spray them. They don't require anything to spray. So look how pretty. You know what else we can use? Oh, our little deco pen. And we could decorate them with some more drizzle of caramel or melted chocolate or something. Yeah, you've got that one all ready to go. Look how fast that was. Y'all love it? How pretty are they? Can I try it? <gasps> Should I try it? Sure. You want to just think? Okay. Bring some on you want to grab one take a bite? Yes, please. They're, they're, they're almost, on. almost too pretty. All right, here you go. Take a bite. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. See what we think. Okay. okay. Oh my mm. God. Mm. Rich. Mm. Yummy. Mm, it is rich. Okay, me. Yum. But it tastes kind of light, actually, with the mousse in there. So, yay. All right. Thanks for jumping on, y'all. Bye.